Hi everyone, my name is Keith Smart and this is my sister Erin Smart and we are Olympic medalists in the sport of fencing. What you'll need today is just a towel, a small hand towel or a sock if you have it and we'll be able to teach you how to fence. So for the next 25 minutes, we're gonna teach you about fencing. Don't worry, we won't be using weapons, so don't use anything sharp. You don't need it. So a fencing it was in the modern Olympics and has been in every Olympics ever since. There are three weapons. There's foil, there's epee, and saber. But we're just gonna show you the basics that you need to understand about the sport. Pretty simple. And with modern fencing, the goal of the sport is to hit your opponent before they can hit you or even try to hit you. So that's your objective. It's pretty simple. Today we're gonna to walk you through how to use your legs, your arms, and how to defend yourself in the sport and how to have fun. That's the greatest part about it. So first, what I'm going to show you are the basics. And we're gonna keep it pretty simple here. All right, Keith, if you don't mind, could you get into an L shape? Why an L? Because the L shape is the first position in the sport. And Keith, you're a lefty, right? That's correct. Use I'm my a righty. Right so what's important about that is that you have your lead hand and your lead leg. Keith's a lefty, so when he gets into this L position, his left leg is forward, his left arm is forward. When I do this position, I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm a righty. So my right arm is forward and my right leg. And then we just make an L. Very simple, very easy. So this is our first position, this is our starting position. You wanna relax your upper body, you wanna relax your arm. Just be relaxed overall, cause then we're gonna get into the on guard position. So Keith, I need you to take a step out. Great. Now you are supposed to be in shoulder length, basically your feet, you make sure you're in shoulder length, you're looking up. Remember, your opponent is across from you. So you always wanna keep your eyes up. But it's okay when you're starting out to basically look around, look at your body, feel your form, but you want to stay relaxed, have a strong core. But Keith wants to stay in this position. And this is going to be, this is like sort of your main position that you're always in. You're always in on guard position. Do I keep my knees bent? Yes. So that's okay. I'm glad you asked that question. Always have your knees bent because that's just the way you get low, where you can move quickly, move back and forth. It's pretty easy. So let's go back again, first position. Great, looks good. And then again, on guard position. Great, let's try it again first and on guard position. That's your basic position. Now you notice Keith picked his hand up when he did this, right? That's because he's usually holding a weapon with the sport. So he has his left hand up and he gets on guard. And then he's going to go back to first position, his hand drops. Then he's on guard. Great. Now let's go back to first position again. When you start a match, you want to salute. Why would we do that? What's the point of that? Basically, you salute because you have fans around you. You have your friends, your family. You also have a referee. And you show respect to your referee. You show respect to your fans. You also show respect to your opponent. So Keith, can you touch your head? and then extend your arm and lower your arm. Now let's do that to your referee. You guys will be the referee for now. Touch your head, extend and down. And then don't forget about your friends and family and fans and you do that all around once again. So that's how we're gonna start off. So let's try that again. Extend and down, great. You guys are doing wonderful, pretty simple. Now let's go back to our on guard position. Steps My knees out. are still bent. Knees still bent, that's your comfort zone. This is the happy area. And you're working your quads. Those are those big muscles here. This is gonna get strong. That's wonderful about the sport, is that you get really strong quad muscles. All right, so Keatson is on guard. He has his hand where it needs to be. He's a lefty. Now, he's going to extend his arm. Pretty simple, right? Extend. What am I trying to do with this? You're trying to hit your opponent. Remember at the beginning I said, the goal of this sport is to hit your opponent before they hit them. That's what you wanna do. Extend and recover. Great, great form. 
and I'm sure you guys are doing excellent form as well, extend and recover. Wonderful. Now, the next move is going to be an advance. Advance means to move forward. Keith. So what, what do I do exactly, all right? All right, you are going to take your front foot. Okay. Move it forward and then your back foot. All right, one more time, your front foot, move it forward and your back foot. So your front foot always leads and then your back foot, okay? Now, now that you move forward, you also need to move backwards and that's called the retreat. So you're just sort of doing the same movement, but backwards. And how do you do that exactly? So you need to move your back foot and then your front foot. One more time, back foot and then your front foot. Now here's what's key, because this is hard, but Keith has been doing this for a pretty long time. So he knows to keep his legs bent, but you guys remember to keep your legs bent. I know it hurts sometimes, yeah. sometimes it gets tiring. So let's stand up a little bit, shake it out, because it does get tiring, all right? Shake it out. And then we're going to get back on guard. And Keith's in the second position, our on guard position. And he's gonna take that front foot forward, advance, wonderful, and retreat and then extend your arm and recover your arm. Wonderful, great, great. One more time, advance, retreat, extend your arm and recover. Now, I'm gonna show you my favorite move because it's one of the fastest moves in fencing, all right? It's called a lunge. I am sure you've heard the term lunge before, but what makes this a little bit different from other lunges, it's that Keith is going to keep his back foot flat and it doesn't even move. All right, I know you can probably do this. I know it probably sounds pretty simple, but he's just gonna show you. What do I do with my arm? Great question. You have to extend your arm because if you don't extend your arm, you're not hitting your opponent, all right? So you need to extend your arm and then shoot that front foot out. Perfect, nice form. And you see Keith keeps his leg straight. Looks good and it's front knee. Look at that alignment, it looks good. And then recover, pull back, and you're gonna use your back leg muscles when you do that. Let's try it again. Extend and lunge, wonderful. And recover, good job. Now, if you ever watch fencing, what's really neat is that it comes down to those three basic moves, but people just do it really fast. So you're gonna get there pretty soon, but just watch Keith. Now he's gonna do another advance and a retreat. And then he's gonna lunge, nice. And always his knees are bent, he has good form and recover, nice. How do your legs feel, Keith? I'm a little tired, but this is good. <laughs> I know. He's, and he does this a lot, all right? <laughs> Imagine he's tired, so I know how everyone else is feeling. So let's get back, let's start with first position again. Shake out your legs, remember first position, that's the L. I'm a righty, so my right leg is forward. You keep that L, you keep your torso straight. And I'm a lefty. That's right. So and he's keeping his hand, left hand forward. Okay, and we're both gonna go into second position and which is called your on guard position. On guard, great. Keith will make an advance. And when Keith advances, guess what I'm gonna do? I wanna get away from him. I don't wanna get hit, all right? So I make that retreat. Remember we said, we take that back foot and then the front foot. Okay, and Keith, make a retreat. Great, and I made an advance. So it's kind of, we're mirroring each other a little bit. Now we learned about how to move forward and backward and how to hit someone. Now, the question is. What do you do to stop somebody from <laughs> Exactly, well, how do you defend yourself, right? Because I said, wait, you don't want to get hit, right? So two basic parries, that's what we're gonna call blocks. When you think about other sports, someone blocks, you just wanna just hit, swat something away. Same thing with fencing, all right? So it's pretty simple where you just parry as a block across your body. So that's a parry four, and then you can parry six. Don't worry if you don't remember just the numbers, but it's just blocking from side to side. So if I made that lunge towards Keith, I'm gonna do my lunge strong, and he, I block, he blocked me. I couldn't hit, and then he hits me. Pretty simple, right? And then I'm gonna try, maybe I try, I'm getting frustrated, I wanna block, try to hit him on the other side. Parry six, and then he hits. So those are the two basic parries. So Keith can just practice, and this is something that you can practice at any time at home, you can block someone. So parry four is a block across the body, parry six is the other side. Parry four and parry six. 
And then after you've blocked, you make the extension where you extend your arm. So let's try to get all of those pieces and elements together. Keith, advance. Nice. Retreat. Wonderful. Lunge. Nice extension. Great. Recover. And I'm going to try and lunge at Keith. And he blocks. And I hit her. And guess what? You don't need anyone at home to do this with you. I practice this alone sometimes. You don't need to do that. How can you, can you practice in a mirror? You can practice, great point. You can practice in a mirror and you can look at your form and you can practice. So Keith, Keith doesn't even need me to lunge at him to block. Keith, parry four, great. Parry six, extend and lunge, wonderful. And that's what it comes down to. Those are the super simple elements of the sport. And we're gonna keep doing that again. And I know that our legs are probably getting a little bit tired because we've been in the squat position. I know your legs are bent really low. So keep, shake it out a little bit. Relax, shake out your arms, yeah. your upper body. How Very do you good. focus on making sure you don't look at your feet? So that's, it, it takes practice and that's a great question. It takes so much practice because sometimes you wanna look at your feet. You wanna make sure you're doing it correctly. That's why it's always good to start out sometimes looking in a mirror then you don't have to look at your feet and you know where you're going. So on guard, nice, advance, retreat, lunge, and recover. Parry four, that's across your body, nice work. And parry six, nice, on guard. So let's start in first position. Keith, do you remember the first thing we learned about how to pay respect? Uh, the salute. That's right, so first we'll start with that salute. Let's salute each other. Again, nice, and salute you. That's good practice, and salute our fans, your friends and family, or maybe pets at home, who knows? <laughs> All right, and first position, and then on guard. And advance, and retreat, and lunge. Nice, recover. You guys are doing a great job, and think about it, it just takes practice it, you know, sometimes there are a lot of different things we just did, but you're gonna get really good at as to each time you practice looking in the mirror or you can show your friends and, and or family members what you're doing. So advance, retreat, lunge, on guard. Now we're gonna put two moves together. It's gonna be the advance and the lunge. Another one of my favorite moves, it's way to attack someone really quickly. So Keith, advance, lunge, wow. wonderful, recover, retreat, 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 advance, lunge, great, and recover, advance, lunge. And when would you block? Right there. That's when I'm going to block. Right when I see him come at me, someone's coming at you quickly, your first reaction, block them and then hit them. Okay, and you could do either side. You could block with the parry six, hit him. Pretty simple, right? And kind of fun. I was like, hey, don't you like to maybe just have fun and hit someone like that? But you don't even need an opponent. You could even do this with a stuffed animal. I've done that in the past. So or a pillow. Or a pillow, that's right. Or even on a chair, you can just practice hitting the chair. So that's pretty simple. Good job, Keith. Let's stretch, let's stretch our legs, shake it out. Feel it, because I know we've been working yeah. those muscles. Wonderful work, great. Yeah, so part of fencing is we want you guys to also get stronger and get faster. And so what Erin just showed was the technique behind how to make the movements of advance, retreat, lunge, and now we're gonna bring that all together and doing some cardio strength-based fencing activities. So what you guys should do is uh, grab a sip of water right now, catch your breath, and what we're gonna ask Erin to do is first to start in first position. So you guys remember that, Erin's a righty, so L-shaped fo footwork. Then we're gonna say on guard. So she's just kicking out her, arm, her legs and her arm is in a nice stable position. And literally her ankles are aligned with her shoulders. So her whole feet is nice and easy. Her core is tight. Her quads are nice and flexed. And then what we're gonna ask Erin to do is first to start out with bouncing. So just by bouncing a little bit, this is gonna help build up your endurance. So your, Keith, wait, so why do I need endurance? Like, well, great there... question, Aaron. So a fencing match can be nine minutes, but those nine minutes can feel like you've run a marathon sometimes because of all the strength 
uh, the stress that you're going through and thinking about different moves from blocks and parries. So what Erin's doing right now is bouncing nice and easy on her feet. How does that feel, Erin? It's good. I'm on the balls of my feet. I'm relaxed. I'm kind of like, I feel like jello a little bit. Yeah, maybe. her upper body's nice and loose. <laughs> then we're going to ask Erin to tap. So she's just tapping her feet as fast as possible. Ooh. Now this is going to help her build up her like foot this. speed. So nice and easy, tapping as fast as possible. Then we're going to ask Erin to raise her knees above your waist. Now, this is tough. Now how does that feel, Erin? That's tough, OK. All right, feeling a little bit <laughs> hard. And yeah. then the last thing for Erin to get explosive power is to jump. So Erin, could you jump all while remaining in on guard position? Oof. And she's back to bouncing. So Oof. again, Erin, jump. Ooh. And then Stop. lunge. Ooh. All right, take a second, catch your breath. Everyone at home, you guys are doing a great, great job. Thank you so much for sticking with us. And you're learning all the basics of fencing while also getting stronger and faster. So Erin, how do you feel? It's good. I mean, that was a good, that's a good cardio work. I know we're just getting started. Yeah. I feel like that was good to figure out what movements that I needed to do to get stronger in the sport. Um, okay. All right. So let's Ooh. try it again. We're going to do this for two times so over the next three minutes. So we, what we want you guys to do is to feel the energy burning. You're going to make break a little bit of a sweat maybe, but this is all good because it'll make you a better fencer and you're going to get stronger and faster. So I, so I should be still with my knees bent, right? Like oh, Always. the whole time. Okay. This so will make the whole sure. time you want to be in a guard position. You see her legs are nice and even. Her balance is nice and even. Your arm, while you're doing this activity, you're keeping it in a nice flex position. So and staying you, loose. And I, staying loose. One of the key things that, that when we do this sport, it's the idea is to be loose. I mean, you have to keep pretty good form no matter what you're doing, but you have to be loose because you have to be able to move quickly because you never know what your opponent could do. Yeah, and also, we want you guys to have fun. Yeah. So don't worry about if you mess up on some yeah. of these movements. It's, it's, it's quite all right. The I most do, important thing is just to move. So just keep moving, and you'll get it at, with more practice. So again, we're going to start in a guard position. Aaron's nice legs bent, nice and easy. And then we're just going to bounce in place. So you can see how just capture the bounce. Remember to balance. breathe. Yes. Really important to breathe while you're going through all of the. So you're bouncing in place, everyone. Great job. And then tapping your feet. You can see we're just trying to tap our feet as fast as possible. This is going to help us get really fast. And you're breathing, and you're looking forward, and you're just, and then knees up. So you're raising your knees as high as possible. And what, again, guys, this is just helping building hip flexibility, getting stronger. And then we're going to ask Aaron to jump. So this is that explosive power. Ready? And jump. Woo. And then the last thing is to lunge. And always remember, you're lunging with your arm first. All right, Erin, you want to take a second, catch yes, your breath, I shake it out? Yes. How does that feel? Feels good. It feels good. All right. <laughs> Guys, you are doing such a great job. We are so proud of you. Keep it up. OK. Take We're, a sip of water if you need it to. Yeah. That was, that's a lot of like getting our heart rate up. We're moving a lot. We're breathing heavy. We're learning I'm a new breathing, sport. I'm, I'm breathing a little yeah, bit. Yeah, <laughs> and we're learning a new sport, and yeah. we want you guys to have fun. So everybody grab a quick sip of water, and we're just going to do this one more time. Everyone, you're such a great athlete. Keep it up. Ready? On guard position, Aaron. Remember, bounce. Yes. Nice and easy, bent legs. And now you're going into bouncing on the balls of your feet. Nice and easy, nice and relaxed. Your upper body's loose. And then we're going to say tap. So tapping your feet as fast as possible keeping that upper body nice and relaxed. And then we're going to say knees up as high as possible. Great job, everyone at home. You're doing such a great job. Keep it up. And then jump. Jump as high as possible. Come on, guys. You can jump higher. Jump. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And lunge. Really stretch. Come on, everyone at home, stretch as far as possible. Let's try it again. Lunge. Wonderful, wonderful, great job. And last time, tap, tap as fast as possible, really fast. Then knees up. Come on, guys, you can do it, everyone at home. Jump. One more time, as high as possible. Jump. And then lunge. And now, really take your time to breathe. Take some deep breaths in and out. We know you guys built good. up a stretch. 
How does that feel, Aaron? It's good. That was a, that's a, that was a good workout. We're not done yet, but it was <laughs> <laughs> it was great to get the cardio going. It felt really nice. It felt good. Ugh, I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as we are, because <laughs> we know you're doing a fantastic, fantastic job. It's wonderful. Great work, everyone. Great work. Now for our next next movement, we're gonna focus on sort of what we were doing earlier, and you guys are doing a fantastic job. We are going to pick up our towels. And if you use, maybe if you, if you didn't have a towel. A sock. A sock, maybe you grab that. What else can you use? <sighs> a t-shirt. A t-shirt, okay. You can tie it up a little bit. It doesn't have to be long, it could be a short, a hand towel, anything. A dish towel, anything can be used. It's pretty easy, because again, we're not using any sharp objects <laughs> like you might do when you're really venting, but we're, this is how Keith and I practice at home. We don't have our equipment. Mm -hmm. So this is pretty simple that anyone can do and you're doing a great job at home doing it. So on guard, Keith, let's start with that on guard position. See everything, if you notice for the last couple of minutes, everything is focused on back to the on guard position. This is like home base, on guard. He's got his, his legs bent well. And when you think you're bent low, get a little bit lower. It's nice to be really low. So what I'm gonna do is just call out a few things that we just learned to Keith, and you're gonna do the same thing. Now, why did we ask you to get the towel? We asked you to get the towel is because so you can simulate practice hitting something. Oh, I thought it was to wipe the sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Not to wipe, you can do that as well. Okay. Nothing's wrong with that, you can do that as well. But it's essentially, it is to practice hitting something. So if you have a chair or something else lying around the house, you can practice, or even on the wall. Or you, your bed. Your bed, you can or a pillow, you can practice hitting. So I'm just gonna call it a few things and you're responding to that too, okay? All right, Keith, I'm gonna say one, two, three, and you're gonna do something. So listen clearly. This is what's cool about um, fencing. It's that you have to you really use your brain, use that brain muscle. So Keith, one, two, three, lunge. Nice. See, so simulating hitting something on guard. One, two, three, advanced lunge. Fantastic job, I know you're doing the same. On guard. One, two, three, lunge. Nice, wow. nice, on guard. One, two, three, advance lunge. Wonderful. Now, what is it like in a real fencing match? Yeah, you guys how are about do we fence that together? I know, you guys are about to do this. We're all about to do this. Okay, on guard. So, I'm gonna say ready, fence, and Keith is gonna try to hit me. Now you could try to do this at home. You don't even need an opponent, but you could t say it out loud to yourself. Maybe if you do have a parent, you can tell them, hey, can you just stand there and maybe I can try to hit you? Or maybe a sibling. Yeah, or grab even, your brother or sister. Yeah, or anyone, or you don't even need anyone if you don't have. So, ready, fence. Keith tried to hit me. I blocked with the towel. Oh. Ah, and I hit him. That's it. <laughs> he fell for that one. <laughs> let's, um, let's try that again. Yeah, okay. <laughs> On guard, ready, fence. Uh, I blocked and then I hit Keith, right? Isn't that neat? Okay, now I'm gonna try it, okay? Let's see if I can, let's see if I can hit him on the first one. We'll see. Ready, fence. Oh, he got me. See, I, all I did was I took one retreat, blocked, and then hit her. Okay, ready, fence. Nice. Now, if I were, say if I didn't have anyone to do this with at home, that's all right. So I can practice myself. I'll say it into my head. I'll just say, ready, fence. And then we both did the same thing, see? And we just did an advanced lunge. Ready, fence. Recover. And then you can also, ready, fence, and then you can practice the parry. What and other things have, can we practice at home? Yeah, so you By could, ourselves. By yourself. Oh, you could do every fencing move at home by yourself. That's the great, greatest part. So you can practice your extension. You can practice your lunge. You can practice your recovery. Remember the parry four, parry six, the retreat, advance, and lunge. I know you are all remembering this right now, so I know I'm being repetitive, but it's just good to keep saying it so you can practice over and over again. And we recover. Excellent job, wonderful job. Ooh, well, that was a good workout. How, huh? how does that feel, Aaron? I, I'm feeling pretty good. Well, the, one of the most important things with fencing, as well as any sport, is to have a proper cool down. Everyone has done such a great job at home. 
over, over the past 25 minutes, you've learned the sport of fencing and how you can practice it at home while also getting stronger and faster. But we don't want anyone to get injured. So we really spend a lot of time stretching. So what Erin's gonna do is she's gonna put her towel to the side. She's Ooh. gonna take a deep breath. So breathe in and out, everyone. Another deep breath. Then Erin's gonna step into first position. Guys, remember this from the, the very beginning? Just a simple L shape. And remember, I'm a righty, so my right leg is forward. And Keith's a lefty, so his left leg is forward. And then Erin is gonna go into on guard position. Step out into a lunge, so arm first. And then Erin is gonna do a nice deep lunge stretch. So we're gonna ask Erin to put both of her feet, hands on the floor, stretching forward and then straighten in the leg. Erin, where do you feel that stretch right oh, now? Right back in the back of so my leg. So in the leg. back of her I think it was from all those, those jumps. <laughs> those jumps and the bounces yeah. and the taps. And yeah, this, this, but this feels really good. This and then we good. wanna straddle out into the center. Okay. Really feel the stretch in your muscles. And then reverse the lunge. So the importance of doing it with the reverse lunge is we wanna make sure you're stretching all parts of your lower body. This feels good. So you guys should feel a little pulse in your calf muscle as well, and then straighten your leg. Nice. Now the last thing we want to do is also make sure we don't forget about stretching the upper body. So right. grab what, your. And the, isn't that because we just did a lot of extensions and parries? You probably you probably didn't even notice it because we were having a ton of fun doing it. But you used your arm and your upper body so much, and even a lot of those bounces and and all that you know, movement we're doing, you're working your upper body a yeah. lot. So just grab your shoulder and pull it to your chest. Excellent, don't forget to breathe guys. In and out. And then over your shoulder, push down. Always breathing, nice controlled breaths. And you can feel the stretch, yeah. this is good. And then I like this. reverse the other arm. Always breathing. Everyone has done such a great job. And then finally over your shoulder again. Excellent. Everyone's ready to become a great fencer. And we want to thank you guys so much for participating. Great job. Wonderful work. I mean, fantastic work. Is you learned so many new movements today. It's not easy, but you did a fantastic job. Great job, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you.